going to do in this class period is um, previously, ladies and gentlemen, what we worked on was graphing using slope intercept, um, graphing using slope intercept form. And when we graphed in slope intercept form, we had y equals mx plus b. And the reason why that was so helpful is because rather than using a table of values like we did over there, right? When we did those big graphs, we did table of values, plug in all the points. When we have a line, we only need two points. Once we have two points, we can connect it. So if we had an equation in slope intercept form, we can identify the y-intercept. That's where the graph crosses the y-axis, which was the coordinate point 0b. And we can identify the slope, which was the ratio of change between the y-coordinates and the x-coordinates, which a lot of times we simplify to rise over run. Does everybody follow me with what we did? That's what we did last class period. So here is an equation that is not in slope-intercept form. 3 is not the slope. Okay? 24 is not the y-intercept. Um, well, actually, uh, yeah, no, it still is not. So this is an equation that's in ax plus by equals c form. That's what we call standard form. And you are going to work on solving some problems today that are in standard form. So how do we do that? Well, there's two ways. The first way is to make this look like that. So to do that, we have to go back to what we learned in our second unit, which was solving linear equations. And solving linear equations, we had to solve literal equations. That means when we have to isolate our variable. So we see our variable is being multiplied by negative 4, and it's being added by 3x. So to undo adding 3x, we subtract 3x. Therefore, I have negative 4y equals. Now, since we're trying to write this equation in this one, notice how the mx is before the b. So I'm going to write negative 3x plus 24. Does everybody follow me so far? Now I look at my variable y and say, now what's happened to my variable? Well, it's being multiplied by negative 4. So I divide by negative 4. So I have y equals negative 3x plus 24 divided by negative 4. Now, when you guys were doing literal equations, I allowed that to be a final, final answer. I said, hey, you know, you simplified it. That's good. You solve for y. However, again, we're trying to put it in this format. So when looking into this format, I need to divide the negative 4 into both of my terms. Because that negative 4 needs to divide into both of them. So therefore, now I can simplify this into a positive 3 fourths x minus 6. So as you guys go ahead and graph this, you notice that, oh, this, the y-intercept is not 24. The y-intercept is negative 6. Oh, the slope is not 3. It's 3 fourths. So we're only gonna, you can only determine, <coughs> well, I'll show you another way, but we can only determine our slope and our y-intercept when we rewrite it in slope-intercept form. So I go down to negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make a nice big point, because that's my y-axis. That's my x-axis. Now I use the slope, which tells me to go up 3. Up three units, over four, one, two, three, four. Over four units. Now I've used that ratio, up three over four, to find my next point. And I graph. Anybody have any questions? So you guys are going to do um, the math problems in three, two different ways. You're going to graph each one like that.